I have to cook for 30 people. <sighs> Following my last video where I talked about cooking in for Valentine's Day as opposed to going out, you can watch that video up here. I was requested by one of my good friends, Spenny. Hi, I'm Spenny. To cook for his cast for his short film, and it consists of about 30 people. <laughs> Now I have experience cooking for about 13 people for like Christmas and Thanksgiving, but I've never cooked for 30. This is a whole new undertaking for me, and I'm responsible for putting together the grocery list and making sure it fits within the budget. So the budget that was given to me was $300, and I was able to churn out a grocery list for $229. So for 30 people, that's only $7.63 per head. And I'm not really sure there's any place where you can get three meals and two snacks for $7.63. So how did I do that? So the first thing I had to know was the scope in which this grocery list was being put together. So I have one vegan and one vegetarian in the group of 30, so that influenced how I put together the menu. I also had to know what kind of meals people were gonna be eating because they need a lot of energy, not to be dragging too much because they're gonna be active on set for likely over 12 hours. So how you can adapt this to your life is by considering what are your dietary restrictions, how do you like to eat, and considering what kind of meals work best for you when you're trying to plan your own kind of menu. And if you can do this, then you're gonna be eating healthier and you're also gonna save money because you have food that's adapted to your lifestyle. And that means that you don't have to go out and spend money on fast food, which is not healthy and expensive. So once I figured out what I had to cook, I figured out what I was going to cook, which is actually kind of the fun part where you get to flesh through a bunch of recipes and figure out what looks delicious and what also fits within your budget. And it's not actually that hard when you go online because there are so many options. So as for recipes, I was looking for anything that wouldn't take up too many dishes or too much time to prep because I have to be banging out these recipes and these meals basically every three hours at most. And I also have a very limited kitchen to work in because it's not actually a kitchen. It's just gonna be a couple hot plates and me chopping a bunch of vegetables pretty much. So for breakfast, I picked just an easy scrambled egg recipe that you can scale to a very big group and that's gonna go with some toast, and that's a pretty easy basic breakfast that's gonna be hearty and keep people full for a while. Second for the snack was fruit and yogurt parfaits because it's easier for people to eat, and they're quick and delicious and also healthy, so that's gonna keep people going and energized throughout the morning. Following that, I'm making this wonderful big vegan chili. If you're interested in the recipe, I will link it below and you can get it yourself. It is so tasty and it's also easy to make for meat if you prefer, but it's so delicious as a vegan recipe. I hope you try it out. With the chili, I'm doing a pasta salad because these are both super easy recipes. You'll kind of notice all of these recipes, they're just throw everything in a bowl, cook it for a while, and then it's done. It's pretty simple. For the second snack, I'm doing pizza rolls because they're easy to make at scale. And lastly, I'm finishing off with pierogies for dinner because they are quick, easy, and delicious, and they're also not very expensive. So that works. So once I figured out what the menu was going to be, then I had to go and find the ingredients and put together the budget. And that was actually pretty easy. So for me, I shop at a no frills because there's one down the street from me. And on their website, you can go through all the products that they have and it also tells you the price. So it makes it really easy actually to put together a budget for it. One of the easiest ways to do this is buying in bulk. So you'll notice through some of this grocery list here, when I was buying bags of frogies, I was buying the two kilo bags, which are I think 397. And so two kilos of frogies feeds a lot of people. Four bags only cost about 13 to $14, and that's really affordable to feed about 30 heads, plus of course some of the good accoutrement that goes with pierogies. The other way I was able to keep this budget low is by keeping it light on the meat. I think there's just some pepperoni and some tuna, and that's almost all the meat that's in it. And that keeps costs a lot lower, and it also makes it a lot healthier. Something to look at for buying bulk here is the difference between the person who's vegan and essentially everyone else. So for everyone else, it averages about $7.63 per head, but for the person who's vegan, those groceries cost almost $17 because I was buying individual ingredients to meet that need. 
And that's not to say that being vegan costs more to feed yourself or anything. It's just that because I had to buy smaller individual packs and I couldn't cook to scale, it brings costs up a bit more. The last factor that helped keep this budget low for all of this food is that I was mostly buying whole foods, which is essentially food that isn't processed. Because the more they process the food for you, then typically the more the costs are increased. And also the less healthy it gets. And it also just makes food taste better because you can adapt it to exactly the flavor that you appreciate. I should also note that I buy my groceries at No Frills because it's owned by Loblaws and it's essentially the same produce as Loblaws and a lot of the same items. But the costs are much less because there's the No Frills, which is also really helpful for keeping the budget low. So that's how I'm cooking for 30 people and hopefully a bunch of tips that are gonna help you keep your grocery bills low and hopefully healthier. And if this video brings you value, then give it a like and a subscribe perhaps. Hit the little bell of course, because that helps me know that this is content that you like and it helps you achieve your financial goals, which is great because then I can provide more of it to you. And also, I want you to comment below if you have any great recipes or cost-saving ideas for grocery shopping as well. And with that, I hope you have happy meals and a great day. Bye.